Hello and welcome to the Somatic Movement and Mindset podcast with me, clinical somatic educator and founder of Total Somatics, Heidi Hadley. The Somatic Movement and Mindset podcast has been designed to help you gain a deeper understanding to how your mind and body work. You will learn about your amazing mind and body and why over time you can feel pain, recurring injuries and poor posture. Within this podcast, I will teach you why this doesn't have to be your future or the norm for you. Would you like to learn how to reduce pain, move freely and gain a new lease of life? Let's get started. Hello and welcome back. Now in this episode, we're going to deepen our gr- a bit more awareness into the area of neuroplasticity and consider the power of somatics and neuroplasticity. So in the last episode, I just covered it briefly, but in this episode, I just want to give you a bit more nitty gritty about the subject. But before we continue, I just want to remind you that from the 4th to the 6th of November 2022, I will be holding a free online event from the 4th to the 6th of November. And that is really my annual event that I hold, and it's called Total Somatics Live Experience. And if you can join me either live or join the replay link, you can receive the replay link, then I really want you to experience the power of total somatic mindset, mindfulness and movement. Because when you put them all together, it's incredibly powerful and it's changed so many lives over the years. So if you'd like to join me for the event, if you go to totalsomatics.com forward slash live experience, and then on that page, you can leave your details. And when the when we start organizing the Zoom links and then send out the replay links, you'll be the very first to receive that information. So let us consider today this amazing power of neuroplasticity. Okay, now back in 1949, there was a psychologist called Donald Hebb, and he really is the father of the field of neuroplasticity because he coined the expression that cells that fire together, wire together. And so that was really our introduction, as it were, to neuroplasticity. So what is neuroplasticity? Well, basically, it's a general term used to describe the fact that your brain changes according to the experiences that we encounter. So these experiences will include things such as your mental habits, your speech, your behavior, or any actions that you create, and also like physical injuries. Anything that we encounter is molding and sculpting and shaping us to who we are. And so really, how do you feel that your soma is shaped with this neuroplasticity well i'm sure from lots of the previous episodes and you got a little taster from that last episode but basically your daily practice or your habitual actions in movement behavior in your thoughts as well they create wiring in your brain that actually starts to become become a dominant pattern and remember over the time i've said to you that your brain is a pattern creator so whatever we do a lot of that starts to be the dominant pattern. And that's thanks to neuroplasticity. You see, we're literally rewiring your brain and this is an ongoing practice. And so I want us just to consider um, an example here. So say you want to um, build up your biceps. You want to get a bit stronger with your biceps. What do you have to do in order to build up those biceps? You have to dedicate time, don't you, to do those arm curls or what are the um, strengthening techniques you're going to do for your biceps? Because it's consistency with your arm curls or your other arm movements week after week that builds up your biceps. And so over time, you'll start to feel and see those changes. But, you know, it's not enough to know academically or intellectually that if you do these exercises that you'll feel better or you do these exercises and you're going to see the results and feel stronger. You see, knowledge is not enough to strengthen something. And likewise, it's what we have to do is in order to create change, we have to have commitment and consistency with the practice. And that's really what we see with when we're practicing total somatic movements because it's not enough to academically know this information. You see, people can say the right things, they can understand the theory, but it's the embodiment and the implementation which is what changes the wiring in your brain. And you see, when people start to actually feel that there's a reduction in their muscle tension and their muscle pain after the first few sessions of total somatic movement, they're really pleased. 
However, what can be a challenge sometimes is focusing and noticing the sensory feedback or when I'm giving you cues to notice things, that can be a challenge. And that's because we're so used to living on these like high paced daily activities. We're filling our life and our mind with data. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, we are working ridiculous hours. We're consuming content all the time. So if it's not at work, it's often on mobile devices. It's often on the TV, wherever it is, our minds are very, very busy. So to actually wind down and allow there to be a pause and a quiet time and focus on what we're feeling and what we're sensing and what we're noticing can take real practice. You see, your soma is highly intelligent and you can do this but a bit like with the bicep curls it takes consistency and commitment to create those changes but you know thanks to the amazing process of neuroplasticity we know for a certainty that consistent total somatic practice will create healthy habits because when we do something long enough in a healthy way, it's going to create um, healthy um, new habits and behaviors and movements and override the bad habits. And I just want to share a really cool um, study with you, some research. So back in the year 2000, a study was done on uh, London taxi drivers. Now, if you've ever been to London, you'll know that they're a breed of their own. They're very impressive with their anecdotes and their stories. And, you know, they're just, a, 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 they are really great characters. But let's just consider this for a moment, that as they're giving you their jokes and their stories and their cheeky one-liners, they're also navigating the streets of London and they're not getting stressed because of the congestion or the roadworks or, you know, somebody's got in, it cut them up. They don't, do they? So. The reason for this is that scientists discovered that due to the daily navigation of the London streets, that they actually noticed that there was an increase in grey matter volume in their hippocampus. And you see, the hippocampus is critical for spatial navigation and also for this sequential formation. So in their mind, they know where they're going and they also can look at landmarks and know that the second right by the so-and-so arch is this, that and the other. And then I take the third left from there and cut over the crossroads. You see, they have this whole mapping in their head and irrespective of their age, that neuroplasticity continues to happen. So isn't that incredible that they almost can like multitask, they can tell you a joke, they can watch for the, the uh, different aspects that are happening and they're still maintaining this focus. And that's because neuroplasticity over time has built up and strengthened their brain. And so that's why I'd love to teach you total somatic education, because you really will learn to harness the power of neuroplasticity and put it towards good health and well-being. And I'm going to teach you how you can take practices and principles into your daily activities so that you can start to reduce your pain and you can increase your posture or increase your mobility, should I say, and improve your posture, but also deepening your practice of mindfulness so you can really and truly read everything from the inside out because when you can sense and feel what's happening within then you've got those practices and those principles that you can apply through total somatic education to recalibrate and the more that we do it the more we're going to be putting those wires together becoming our own electricians in our head and creating a healthier headspace to basically learn new movements and patterns so again if you'd like to join me for the total somatics live experience if you go to totalsomatics.com forward slash live experience and you can join me from the 4th to the 6th of November 2022 as I hold the annual experience for you. But if you'd like to get started today, if you go to totalsomatics.com, click on the shop page and there you will actually see there are lots of workshops, there are video, video courses, there are audio classes, whatever you are interested in with maybe rib mobility or back pain and um, anxiety, any of those sorts of subjects, go to totalsomatics.com, click on the shop page and look at what's on offer today so you can get started on your beautiful processing of neuroplasticity. And by the time we meet in November, you've already started your own wiring. So until next time, all my love and best wishes. Take care. Bye. Thank you for joining me today. If you've enjoyed this episode, please leave a rating and also forward this on to somebody you know will benefit. 
To learn more about pain relief plus how to improve your health and well-being, go to totalsomatics.com. Until next time, take care.